And ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Smoke and Mirrors Theater. <laughs> we built this theater for this single purpose. And that purpose was to bring you some of the best magicians in the world. You might see the show Masters of Illusion. We bring in all the people to perform on those shows. We bring in people from Las Vegas. We bring in people from the biggest Not cruise Franklin. ships in the world. We bring in all the people to create the magic for the David Copperfields, the David Blaine's, and the Chris Angels. These are the true art of magic. And this theater was built so you can watch that as close up and personal as possible. So you don't have to worry about, hey, what's that guy's name? Is he any good? Because we don't hire them unless they're at the top of their field. So that's all you have to know. The performer you're going to see, he's worked college campuses. He's been a professor in a college, actually at Temple University here. And he's traveled doing magic. He's lectured on magic and taught other people things. But I think you're going to enjoy him and we're going to see him for the very first time here at Smoke and Mirrors. So let's make him feel welcome yeah. for Nick Gentry. Marty said, my name is Nicholas Gentry. They call me the intellectuals illusionist because of that background as a college professor you just heard about. So if you ever wondered what exactly a person does with a degree in philosophy, here you have your answer. Thank you again. Make it feel like a show. Yeah. All right. I like to start every show exactly the same way. I'm going to take this ball of paper and I'm going to turn around and throw it over my shoulder. Whoever catches it, now this is a rule, sir. You gotta bear this in mind. This is a rule. If you catch it, whose is it? Yours. It's yours. If you don't catch it, but instead it lands kind of close to you, miss, then whose is it? Yours. It's yours. <laughs> sir, if it lands in your eyeball and you're bleeding from a paper cut on your eye, do you get a get out of jail free card? No, sir. No, it's yours. There's no escaping this. If it's, if it's nearest to you, it's absolutely yours. Do we understand? Yeah. yeah. A round of applause. Do we understand? Yeah. Yes. All right. Here we go. Here goes. Right over the shoulder. On the count of three. One, two, three. Blammo. Sir, what is your name? Andrew. Andrew, nice to meet you. Big, I know it gets exhausting, but make him feel good. Huh? You might be the first time up on a stage with a real life, um, you know, a male model. So, I'm gonna ask you just a few getting to know you questions by way of getting to know everybody in the room. So like, I don't know, like, what's your credit card number? I don't know. You don't know? No. Uh, maybe it's just a little too too personal. Let's start with something a little bit more low key. How's that? Um, I don't know. What's your favorite primary color? Most people say red. What's yours? Uh, blue. Blue. That's interesting. Open up that paper ball that you just caught there, buddy. Now, while he does that, I know what you're all thinking. Well, there's just no way that he would have predicted that because after all, there's no escaping that he's holding the paper ball this whole time. Go ahead and show everybody exactly what it says. Blue, everybody! His favorite color is blue! But wait, we didn't, we didn't prearrange this or anything, did we? No. But your voice sounded so different over the phone. <laughs> yes, I'd like you to uh, think of something a little bit more personal than just your favorite color. So I'm gonna ask you to think of perhaps the initials of somebody who you love a lot, okay? But don't try to pick out the two letters that he's merely thinking of. I'm gonna scribble it without looking. Then I'm gonna give him the pencil. Only when he is holding the pencil is he going to say out loud the initials that he's thinking of. Does that sound scientific enough, miss? You could say it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is totally scientific. Okay, so here are my eyes. All right, I'm scribbling on three. Two, one. Okay, here, take the pencil. Miss, if you don't mind, I'm gonna give you this. You're gonna turn that around in the count of three, and you're going to say exactly what's there. And if it's wrong, okay, he's gonna look really dumb, and we'll feel bad for him. <laughs> but we're gonna do the best we can to make him feel better about it. If it's right, however, and you said again, what was it again? R E. R E. If it's right, everybody in this room should go absolutely eight. Okay? Agreed? Yes. Yeah. All right, on the count of three, are you ready? One, two, three, read it loudly. R-E. 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 What did you say? You tell them that when some strange
strange magic man asked you to think of the person in the world who you love the most. Mm -hmm. You didn't even hesitate to think of this person. And this person will feel very good. And that's what we're all about here at the Smoke and Mirrors Theater. Huh? Yeah. 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 Here's the job for you. You are going to write down the name of the first boy you ever kissed. This right here down the middle, gotta be the same thing. Write down the first boy you ever kissed. Okay? She hasn't kissed anybody. Else. That she oh, hasn't wow, kissed anybody. No. Just make someone up. Make up someone you'd like to kiss. Huh? Yeah. I'm sure you have. I'm only kidding. All right, and then who are we all? Our sign is Colin. Yes, it's the same rules. You gotta write down the name of the first boy. It's the first name only that we need. Only the first name. Reach your hand in my pocket. Make sure there's nothing else in there. We're empty, right? Empty. Yeah. All right, good. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, you're good. Don't, you, know, you can take it out. <laughs> he said, should I leave my hand in there? <laughs> Not all night, man. You got to fold it around. Here, just go ahead and pop that right in the, uh, in, in the pocket. Yeah, that's good. That's all. good. And uh, just leave the pen right here. I'll forget it later. Okay, because despite being a mind reader, I have a terrible memory. Um, all right, now this is going to have to get passed up. Miss, yeah, hand it on up here. Uh, miss, would you mind grabbing that? That's perfect. And then, sir, I want you to stick it right there in the pocket. That's good. Solid work. All right. And then this lady, she's just going to come right down and make my job easier. All right. Stick it right there in the pocket. That's good. Solid. All right. Thank you. And, sir, if you wouldn't mind, I want you to uh, just stick your finger out like that and then put it in the pocket and stir. It's very important to stir. Okay. You know how it is, right? He knows what he's doing. All right, thank you very much. That's good. He doesn't want to stop. All right. <laughs> Look at the name. And I'm going to ask you, is this the first person you ever kissed? And you're going to lie to me if the answer is yes. If the answer is yes, you're going to say no. Same thing for you. If the answer is yes, you say. And same thing for you. If the answer is yes, you say. If the answer is no, you also say no. In other words, you always say no. Okay? I'm not saying that women are better liars than men. <laughs> but. but there's a reason why I choose women for this most of the time. I want you to look at me. Look in my eyes. Okay, the first boy you ever kissed was his name David. The first boy you ever kissed was his name David. The first boy you ever kissed was his name David. No. David. No. David. David. No. David. No. David. No. David. No. Cheryl Lynn, look at me. David. No. Lean your face real close up here. <laughs> Just look right at me. All right, look into these baby blues. Come close. David. No. Hold my hand. Wow, <laughs> wow. Hey. All right. You don't mind. I said, I'm no more. I'm upset. David. David, come on, David. No. Do you know how I know you're telling the truth? Do you know how I know you're telling the truth, Sherilyn? No. Because she's lying! <laughs> you can tell me the truth now. The first boy you ever kissed, his name was David, wasn't it? The game is over. Okay, yes. Yeah, David! <laughs> David! I didn't even tell him this, but there you go. That's, that's, there, that's there for you later. If you ran in, run into David on Facebook, you let him know. <laughs> Look into my eyes, please. I want to look right at you. What's your name? Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Um, I need you to look at me and, and repeat the following words. You say, Gentry, you are the most handsome and charismatic <laughs> man I have ever met. On the count of three. One, two, three, go. Gentry, you are the most handsome and charismatic man I've ever met. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sherilyn, you know what to say. Look right in my eyes. <laughs> say, Gentry, you are the most handsome and charismatic man I have ever met. Go. Gentry, you are the most handsome and charismatic man I've ever met. Now I know what you both sound like when you're lying. <laughs> it's going to make my job easier. All right? Look into my eyes. The first boy you ever kissed was his name Albert? No. The first boy you ever kissed was his name Albert? No. Was it named Al? Was, he, was it? Was his name Albert? No. Albert? No. Albert? No. Albert? No. The first boy you ever kissed was his name Albert? No. Albert? No. The first boy you ever kissed was his name Albert? No. The first boy you ever kissed was his name Albert. No. Yes, it was. Game's okay. over. That's you. 
first boy you ever kissed, was it? Was it Albert? Yes, yes it was! Yeah. Woo! Woo! Hey! And we're down to just the one. <laughs> oh. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is kind of the most impressive part of it because I think I can use Cheryl and I think I can use my psychic power to determine who wrote it. <laughs> but instead of doing that, I'm going to try to just get the name out of your brain without looking. How does that sound? Not bad? Not bad. It's a freaking miracle! It's more than not bad, it's a miracle! If I can pull it off, it's a bona fide miracle! Here we go. Look right in the bio. Barely see you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. I already passed it. There was a... The first letter was an L, am I right? Was it L? L is the first letter. Not bad. If that's all I did, it would already be a miracle. But let's just get on down, get on down the line here. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S L M N O M N O M N O O. We got an O. Is it an O? It's an O. His name was Log. Log, 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 log. It's big. <laughs> no, it's better than bad. It's good. La Logan! It's Logan, am I right? A big hand for everybody. A big hand for Logan. And a big hand for Logan as well. So nice to meet all of you. My time is up. That is for her. Thank you very much. And my name is Nicholas Gentry. If you loved it, if it was terrible, my name is David Blaine or somebody like that. And look, uh, before I go, I just want to say it is a deep honor to be standing here because I am occupying space. Basically, this place is to magic what the Village Vanguard in New York is to jazz. A small space where the best in our business arrive eventually. So the fact that I'm standing here is a great honor, and I'm very, very honored tonight to share the stage with somebody who I idolize, Carl Mercurio, a wonderful entertainer. You are all going to have a wonderful time. Thank you so much for being so attentive. Woo! Here, so uh, did you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah.